Hey guys, today I'm going to show you not only how to practice along with a backing track, but how to record yourself playing along with that backing track. There's no argument that playing along with backing tracks is one of the best ways to get better on guitar, to get your rhythms and chops tighter, but why would you want to record yourself playing along with a backing track? Well, that's actually taking it to the next level. See, sometimes when we're playing along with a backing track or just jamming, well, we make mistakes and we may not always realize it. However, if you record yourself playing along with that backing track, go back and listen, then you can start really tightening up those areas. You're like, okay, well, I did good here, but maybe this part here at about the 29 second mark, now that was a little rough, so I'm gonna have to work on that. So I'm gonna show you just a really easy way to do this, guys. This will be a pretty short video here, because this is really, really simple. So let's take a dive into the studio and let's record ourselves playing along with a backing track. All right, so I'll explain everything as we go through this. So I am using PreSona Studio One Pro. That's my doll. Now, the steps we go through should be relative to pretty much every doll. Again, this is going to be real simple. So I'm just going to open up, or I'm going to start a new song here. We'll call it New Song. Uh, what are we going to call this? We'll call this Backing Track Jam. Okay. I want you to add a guitar track. So I'm going to go add a track. So I'm just going to call this guitar. Okay. This is just going to be it. Actually, you know what? Let's call this metal guitar. What are we talking about? Just guitar. We don't play guitar, we play metal guitar. And uh, real quick, this is not as relevant here, but I'm just going to drag over my plugin. I like to share what I'm using with you guys, so I know you guys appreciate that. So I'm dragging over Bias FX. This is going to pull up. The amp takes a little while to pull up here. I've got a 2000, late 2013 iMac. This thing is getting a little slow. So I might have to replace it at some point soon. <laughs> Again, this isn't really part of the video, but I like to share this stuff with you guys. This is the triple tread plate. Now, the next thing we need to do, and this is the super easy part, we're just going to take our backing track file, which is an MP3 file, we're gonna drag it into the studio. Now again, I think most dolls work this way. Uh, if the doll you're in doesn't have a drag and drop feature, then fire that doll and get a new one, seriously. <laughs> I think most dolls have this feature. So I'm gonna drag this file here and I'll, sh I'll share where I got this file from here and where you can get it as well. I'm gonna drag it into my studio. You see, I didn't even have to create a new track. It created one for me. I just drag, drop it, it's there. Now, this is the important part when you're playing along with backing tracks. You need to know the BPM, right, the beats per minute of that backing track. And in this case, uh, this backing track here is 161. So I'm going to change that in the studio here, 161. If you do not match the BPM in your doll to the backing track, okay, then it's just not going to sound right. All right, it might be slower or faster or whatever, which also might throw the tuning off as well, so if that makes sense. So let's just listen to this real quick and make sure this, this got into the studio, which I can see it, but let's just hear it. Now I want to share real quick where you can get these backing tracks. Actually, there are currently 160 backing tracks, and these are all coming from my guitar course, Metal Riff Master. There's a link in the YouTube description where you can go learn more about that. A lot of you watching this right now already have the course. I know you guys love it, so thank you for all the awesome feedback, by the way. Uh, but I do hope this video, what we're going through here, will help you better utilize these backing tracks. So let's jump back in the studio and finish up. All right, so our backing track is in there. Now the next and really final step, actually there's one more step we're going to take after this, uh, we're just going to record our guitar along with a backing track. So I've got, I've got the track with the backing track in there, we've got the guitar in there. So I'm going to press this little record red dot here. I got a buzz. Oh, that's because my guitar's not plugged in. I should, <laughs> let me turn this off and plug my guitar in, then I'll turn it back on and then we'll record ourselves playing along with the backing track. <laughs> Alright, 
so we've recorded our guitar along with the backing track. Now there's one more little step I want to share with you real quick. And notice I didn't record the whole thing, I just stopped. This backing track's actually like a minute long. Actually all the backing tracks uh, that come with my course Metal Riff Master, all the backing tracks you can download are like over a minute long. So anyway, I want to go back here, let me press the record button off, and you know, I'll drag this over here a little bit. What you can do at this point if you want to, of course you can play back, you can go back and listen, and actually we should do that real quick, we should just play it back. Let's, let's hear what my guitar playing sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got the levels matched up there a little bit. My guitar had to just cut that down just a little bit so it wasn't so overpowering. But what you can do at this point is you can actually dump this down to an MP3 file if you want to. I mean, I don't, I don't know that I see too much purpose in that, but I mean, if you want to just dump that down and listen to it later, like in your car or something like that, you know, you could do that. So let me just, let me just do that real quick here. Let's see, let's put a marker here and you notice these backing tracks they've got a they've got a count off we've got like a hi-hat or symbol or whatever counting off you know one two three four so that kind of helps you out uh, as you start so I'll I'll end the track here putting these little flags here I'll end the track here uh, where I stopped playing actually I stopped right here so yeah you could do that I could go in here uh, go to the mix down and we could call this uh, backing track BT we'll call it BT practice what was this uh, riff 7 and this was actually in the second module of lessons in uh, in metal riff master so we'll say mod 2 so yeah I can dump this down here it's only 25 seconds but of course if I were to play the entire minute I can dump that down now we've got an mp3 file with me playing along with my backing track here. That's something you can do uh, if you want to critique yourself later. If you want to listen to this several times or maybe you want to record several backing tracks, record yourself playing along with several backing tracks, you know, you can do something like this if you want to go that extra step and dump that down to an MP3 and listen to it. Otherwise, you could just play it back in the studio here and of course, if you don't like what you played, well, you just do this. You get rid of that track Press that little record button and start over again. And I, I do this a lot when I'm recording, actually, when I'm writing music or even recording stuff for YouTube. Actually, when I was making these backing tracks for Metal Riff Master, you know, I'm, I'm famous for having to record stuff like 25 times before I get it right. But anyway, so you can just go back and, and continue critiquing your playing and then just keep playing over and over. And it's just a good thing to do. It's just a good way to, again, get better and be honest with yourself too, because you know what you hear, that's not gonna lie to you. It's gonna tell if you're off or not. Now, I hope this video simplifies this process of not only playing along with your backing track, but recording yourself playing along with it. And I really think this is when you can level up because again, it allows you to go back and listen to what you played. See, when you're just jamming along with the backing track, I mean, that's great, that's fun, and of course, you know, you're getting better by doing that, but when you can go back and listen to what you actually played along with that backing track, then that's next level because then you can really critique yourself, and again, you can say, okay, well, I did good on most of the track, but here's some spots I really need to work on. Now, real quick, I wanna let you guys know that the full mix backing track you just heard I also have a version of that same track without the guitar in it. It's just the bass and drums. Actually, all of my riff lessons in my course, Metal Riff Master, they have that. Every lesson has a full mix backing track and a version without the guitars, just bass and drums. So those versions, <laughs> that's really when you're going to level up because it's just you playing along with it. Now, if you have Metal Riff Master, I encourage you guys to, once you learn the riffs, not only play the riff, but start adding your own notes to it. You've got that bass guitar kind of driving that main rhythm there, but you can add some notes as long as you're staying within that same key. Just add some stuff, add your own flavor to that. I strongly encourage you to do that because that's really when you get to that next level of musicianship. You're not just playing guitar anymore. You're not just learning the riffs. You're creating your own music, and I think that's really awesome. That's, where, that's really what I want you guys to, to focus on because that's when your own style and your own sound, that's when all that stuff really starts to further develop. 
All right, guys, so let me know if this video helped you. And a real quick disclaimer here, guys. I know, I know this video is kind of focused on my guitar course. Yes, I'm promoting my guitar course. It, this is part of how I make my living. So I am proudly promoting my guitar course, Metal Riff Master. Again, there's a link in the description of this video. Uh, but just in case there are any questions about that, this, again, this is what I do for a living, guys. This is a big part of what I do for a living. And I love what I do. I love creating stuff products and just things that are going to help you guys. I'm always going to put free content out here. You know, I'm always going to do that on YouTube. So you guys are always going to have that. But hey, if you want to jump into my course, Metal Riff Master, uh, there's a link again in the description of this video. Stay tuned, guys. I've got some lead guitar lessons coming up on YouTube. In fact, in the Metal Riff Master course, I'm going to be adding a lead guitar section to that in the bonus module. So a lot of you know about that already, but if you don't, that's coming up. That will be a free upgrade to the course. So once you buy the course, anything I add to it thereafter, well, you get it free. Who does that, by the way? Who creates a course about anything and then gives you free upgrades without you having to pay for it? Nobody, except this guy. All right, guys, so again, I hope this video was helpful. Whether you get into my course or you're using other backing tracks or Maybe you're creating your own backing tracks, which I actually have a video up, up here. I'll put it up here on how to create your own backing tracks if you guys want to go catch that. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope this video helps you. And my goal is really to help you get to that next level, to help you unleash that full potential you have as a guitar player and musician. That is why this channel exists. That's kind of why I exist. So I really hope this video <laughs> helps you guys. All right, until next time, you know what to do. Keep it metal.